In this video, we look at displaying a switchback in the multiplot output. As you can see, the first page of my plan output is showing the road a little bit off the screen because what the multiplot does is it arranges the start station for the page and the end station for the page to go from left to right horizontal, like the profile. But with a switchback, it doesn't work very well. So we built in some tools for adjusting this manually. And you can find those in the multiplot scroll options for your plan window. Make sure you have the one page selected that you want to modify so that you can use this page only and make some changes. Um, you can enter coordinates and rotation angle, but it's much easier to just use shift arrow or control arrow from the keyboard. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select my plan window, type shift arrow, and yes, I want to do this only for this current page. And now I can use control arrow to rotate, and I can use shift arrow to move up and down. Okay, that's not bad. I want something better than this. So what's my next option? Well, and by the way, if I select the plan for this page and look at my scroll options, you can see it's been set up with a specific X, Y, and rotation, whereas the other pages are still set to auto. Okay, um, I want to add another plan window. Well, that's easy. Right click, new sub view. Ah, there isn't one available. In our multiplot, it's always necessary to have a real plan window, there it is, for every plan window inside the multiplot. That may change in the future, but for now it's absolutely necessary to create a new plan window. I can do it here, down in the lower left, or in the view menu, new window, plan. And there it is. Now when you do this the first time, you may have to set up your options to make the plan window look the same as the other plan window because the options are independent. Great, I've got two plan windows. Now I go back to the multiplot and new subview plan 2. Perfect. There it is. Notice that this will only be visible on the current page. That's what I want and that's because I have the current page two selected over here on the left. Great, so now I've got the window. I just move it over like so and put it up here like this. Oh, let's turn on my snapping. I don't think I've got that turned on yet. I can get it lined up where I want, but you can see the other window underneath. Oh, well, that's easy. I'll just move the other window. I've selected it. I'll just move it out of the way like so. Okay, that looks all right. Now I can use the same tools for adjusting this one and we'll get them lined up the way we want. But watch out, you can't just change the real plan window in one page. It's actually been adjusted for all pages. Okay, so what am I gonna do? Well, I'll put it back where it was like so. And then I'm going to put an opaque rectangle over top of it. It would be nice if I could just change the properties of the plan window to be opaque. Unfortunately that's not available at this point. So I'll just create an opaque rectangle. New rectangle. Again, I only want it on this page. Change to be not transparent. Let's get rid of the bounding rectangle. Okay, there we are, an opaque rectangle. And like the plan window, it has the green triangle in the top right corner indicating it's this page only. Um, so let's put it in the right spot. There. Now we just need to shuffle these into the correct display order. I want this one at the back right now. So I'll stick it at the back now. Then I'll put the main plan window at the back and it will now be underneath the opaque rectangle. And finally, just deselect this so I can select my real plan window 
there it is. I've got them arranged and there's no more bleed through because there's an opaque rectangle underneath this but on top of this. And finally let's adjust everything correctly. So I'll just use the control arrow to rotate this and shift arrow to scroll it. Do the same with this one. Control arrow, whoops, got the wrong window selected. I can't select this one because it's underneath that one, um, or at least it's not really when, when you're displaying it, but it is when you're um, selected. So I'll deselect, click on this one, that's the one I want, and then shift arrow and move it up a little bit. Ro control arrow to rotate and finally get it in the right spot. There we go. And that concludes how to get two plan views in your multiplot. Notice that I've got page two shows two, but of course page three is back to the original. There's only one window in here. Um, and that's all we need. <laughs>